Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, um, I'm just about to film a video at the moment, so can I call you back in like two seconds? Is that cool? Yeah? Hello? Hello? Well, that's my problem guys, and that's what this video is mainly going to be focused on, is the earpiece sound uh, and the volume primarily out of my Nexus 5. Um, this will apply to other phones uh, that have kind of like a grill at the top for the earpiece, but it's just kind of a really quick trick to kind of help you perhaps improve the volume of your ringer. This isn't something software related, it is primarily a hardware thing, so let's take a look at how we can very quickly and possibly dramatically increase the volume of your earpiece on a Nexus 5. So guys, what we're talking about specifically here is of course the earpiece which is situated right here up the top. And it's an indented hole from the top of the glass there which is slightly recessed under the front of the glass and it's covered by like a mesh grill type system. Uh, now the problem with this of course is that it's uh, really really tiny holes in there which of course have to let the sound through but can also trap things like dust, of course the gross earwax and just general dirt. So essentially this is what's going to be causing you a lot of issues, it's just the fact that this gets so clogged up, it's going to very gradually, um, and until you notice it, it's going to reduce the volume of your earpiece just by the fact that it's clogged up with so much crap. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use a very simple system here, and we've got this. This is blue tack, or white tack, or any other type of sort of sticky uh, substance like gel uh, type of stuff you can get your hands on. Um, blue tack and white tack I found is the best. Now of course with uh, by default blue tack and white tack it comes out of the packet and it's actually quite quite stiff to knead um, and it's quite quite tough um, but we actually want to make it a bit more squishy than it actually is. The reason why is because we want to be able to squeeze it into the hole um, and just kind of pull some stuff out of there. Now the actual way you can do this really easily is actually just by kneading it in your fingers uh, and in your palm and as it gets warmer it will go really really soft and squishy uh, and a lot more malleable so we can squeeze it into the tiny hole at the top here. It's also really good for cleaning out other parts of the phone such as around the bezel you can see you've got tiny little bits caught in between the glass and the plastic you can get those little bits out and also down the bottom of the phone as well you've got the speaker which we can um, if we wanted to we could use um, to take some dirt out of the speaker at the bottom as well but we're going to be primarily focusing on the uh, earpiece up the top here so let's have a look and see what we got. So here we go guys, I've got my blue tack here and I've kneaded it into a bit of a softer, warmer material so it's a bit more pliable. We're actually just going to go ahead and start pushing it into the earpiece to do some cleaning. Now when you actually push it into the earpiece, you're going to actually want to do it with some force because um, if you just press it onto the top here and kind of squidge it down, um, as you can see by the indent, you're not actually going to be going that far into the earpiece so it's not really doing us any good. We're actually going to want to start to push it in slowly but actually push it in quite firm with our finger onto the actual edge itself. So we can actually push quite hard into here and then hopefully once we take it out. Now you see this is one of the problems you may have is that it actually gets stuck into the earpiece. Now we can actually just dab onto the top to pull that out. Now of course you can still see we've got some stuck in here so it's just a case of putting our blue tack back into there until we get everything that we need out. Now of course it may take you a few tries to get everything out that you need but eventually you'll be left with a very very clean earpiece that doesn't have anything left inside it and you'll actually notice now that you can see all the holes in the grill uh, for your earpiece that's really going to help greatly increase the volume of your earpiece when you're making phone calls. So once you think you've done a sufficient enough job doing that you could perhaps move your way around the bezel and remove some of the bits that are stuck around the edge just by dabbing. You may notice that you actually get some blue tack residue stuck on the glass. It's just a case of dabbing the blue tack onto the glass just to kind of pick up any residue left over so you don't get any smudges on there. Once that's done, you'll notice that you've got a really, really nice and clean earpiece in there with all the holes that are visible and you can have a great volume experience on your Nexus 5 and perhaps any other phone that has this kind of grill type system for the earpiece if you're experiencing a very low volume. So guys, that's pretty much it for my Nexus 5 earpiece cleaning uh, quick video. Uh, just using something like a piece of blue tack or white tack warmed up in your hand so it's nice and sticky. Push it into the earpiece, put it out, clean up any extra left over and you'll experience better, great volume as it was when you first got the phone because there's nothing stuck in there anymore. 
One thing of course I would say is that don't try and use any sort of sharp objects to poke in there to try and dig things out because you may make it worse and actually push it deeper into there, making it even harder to get out. Um, so something like this is great because it actually pulls it out rather than pushes it in and tries to dig it out. So anyway guys, that's just Barry from Coffee Versus Glass with a quick video using BlueTac and my Nexus 5 to greatly enhance the volume of my earpiece and I can actually hear people on the phone now, which is great. Anyway guys, like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.